Freedom's the answer. What's the question? You're listening to Ernest Hancock. Stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. If you want to have a good time, just give me a call. Oh, welcome back to the clay. Your independence with me, Ernest Hancock, and my good friend and economic columnist for Freedom Phoenix, Jack Gregson. Jack. Oh, man, I kind of painted a bleak picture here, you know. I mean, you know, a lot of this stuff was stuff you put up. Right. You know, so I, I just wanted you to kind of give the idea of, uh, you know, some, some of the top things that we need to look for as we go into holiday season here. Okay. Today is the 29th of December, 2010. Tomorrow, we will have 2 million Americans fall off the unemployment rolls. In Arizona, we will have 158,000 Americans falling off the unemployment rolls. They will have no source of income. Okay, now wait a minute. Let's put that in perspective. We're a very small state. Oh, there, yeah. there are more people in Manhattan than in the whole state of Arizona. Right. 158,000 tomorrow, all of a sudden, you don't get no more government money. That's like taking uh, Ahwatukee, which has about, let's say, 75,000 to 100,000 individuals, and the city of Chandler, and the city of Guadalupe, and throwing everybody out of work in a single day. And you're going to keep doing that week after week, month after month, because more and more people are going to be falling off the unemployment rolls. Why? Why? What, they just did, they didn't extend it. They didn't extend it. Uh, oh. I mean, you can say that's good or bad, but it, it doesn't matter what your philosophy is. These people are still going to be without any source of income come tomorrow. It's over. So they're not going to have a Christmas. They're not going to have a happy new year. All right? It's over for them. And what they're going to do, I don't know, because uh, you know local uh, food banks are drying up, and you've got 43 million people who are on food stamps, and that's expected to go up to probably 50 million in the next year. You know, I or more. You know, I'm I. We're going to spend some time this week on this uh, 510 thing. You right. Know, that, that is, I mean... Do you want to talk about that now? Well, if you know something about it. Yeah. I mean, I've been following this for months. I posted a video this uh, morning. And uh, basically what you have in S510 is a bill that was written by Monsanto for Monsanto. And the thing is, it's not for the American public. It's not to produce food safety. That's what they're selling it as, all right, is a food safety bill. But really what they want to do, Ernie, is they want to control who sells food, where you buy food, uh, the patents uh, for the seeds. Monsanto patents all their seeds. Farmers in India and Iraq have to buy new seeds. They cannot save their seeds year to year. They have to buy new seeds from Monsanto. And they basically do this at the point of a gun. All right? This was their template, and they're bringing it here. Well, I wonder who has jurisdiction. I mean, you know, go shutting down websites. You know, we got Jat Napolitano going around. I don't even know where she got jurisdiction for that. And certainly with no court order, is it going to be Homeland Security for it's seeds? It's the power of a gun. You, you've seen the videos where they go into raw food sales. With SWAT teams. With a SWAT team. Raw food? I mean, come on. I mean, that's as harmless as, you know, uh, what's his name who got busted for marijuana today or the other day? You, you know, know, we have... Uh, on Freedom's Phoenix, if it's not already up, it soon will be. Uh, one of the editors putting it up is a TED Talk. You know the TED Talks? It's an yeah. 11-year-old homeschool kid gets up there and does 10 minutes on, let me tell you what I learned at homeschool today. And he does this, <laughs> oh, man, he just kicks her butt. He's going, man, it's not what they'd be telling me. And you know what? We don't want shiny flakes. He's talking about frosted flakes. <laughs> I don't want the shiny flakes anymore. <laughs> you know, I'm good. <laughs> no, you don't want the you don't want the frosted flakes. And the thing is, they're really just trying to control how we as Americans live. And it's not just us. I mean, ask the people in India. Ask the people in uh, Iraq. They've lived it. And I mean, you've got you know hundreds of people over in India that are committing suicide because they can't save their seeds. This is destroying their culture. They want to bring that whole ethic here. You know, the one thing that um, has really, I, I always had hope 
because I knew that American people, just human beings, are very industrious, and we have access to information. Sure. The internet, heck, you can get you know WebMD on a cache file on a CD. I mean, you know, you go out and be what? There's enormous amounts of publications, information. You go to Sam's Club. Sam's Club will have all these books on how to survive the apocalypse, or, you know, whatever. So over the years, you know, I get the old thing on surviving out in the whatever and be your own right. uh, farmer and you know whatever how to use goats and you know whatever. The problem is, is that now all of that capacity is now being made illegal. And then, also, you know, who owns the land? And can they tax it out from under you? And you got property tax. Right? I mean, all of the mechanism is there to make you unalive. And right. I'm going, wow. And one of the big things is basically, who owns the title to your property? Do you own it? Does the bank own it? Uh, does some unknown bank own it? You have no idea because they've destroyed the title, uh, basically the whole, you know, securitization of titles. You know, that's something that's gone back several hundred years in this country. You know, you have to go to the, the county and it has to be registered at the county. And there's county regulations, there's state regulations. It's basically taking away the power of the states. And they've done it through this thing called MERS, Mortgage Electronic Registration System. All right. And basically now you have no way of knowing unless you force the bank's hand to show them your wet signature on the title to your home. Okay. But they're just going to make it legal. Yeah, they're going to try and make it legal. They've already tried that. Now, Obama, you know, vetoed it. He did a pocket veto and vetoed the original bill that they had to make this legal. Um, but the thing is, that's what they want to do. They want to make it legal so that the banks can destroy the note. And then you have no way of knowing who actually owns your house, who owns the note to it. The guy with a uniform and a gun is the guy that says he knows <laughs> it. That's basically it, you know. And the thing is, that's really scary. Just We've never had that in America. You've always been secure in the knowledge that you went to such and such bank, you signed the contract, okay, you are paying off your mortgage to such and such bank, and you know, you, you know it's good, it's fine. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have that anymore. But the thing is, Ernie, the American people have no freaking clue about this whole process. I mean, I've talked to a guy that was, uh, he's going to lose two of his homes, beautiful homes. He had no clue about this until I told him last week. You know, this is what we're going to be talking about Friday night at the Freedom Summit. You know, we had to decide what it was we were going to be discussing at the pre-summit debate. And here in Arizona, it's such a big issue Starting tomorrow, we're going to be having, you know, some of the radio advertising and such that we're doing. We'll promote the Friday night event. It's a pre-summit thing. So it's $20, and you get, you know, free drinks and hors d'oeuvres and everything. So I'm not making any money on this. But it's a, a really good time for everybody coming in from out of state and so on, you know, kind of party and have something to do. Well, it's always evolved into this big thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to detail what happened why they did it. You know, it's just all this pension money. We just want to make all this money our money. How are we going to make that money our money? Well, this is how they did it. And we'll explain that. But the real, the debate part, I mean, I'll take, you know, 15, 20 minutes, you know, kind of give a, because I can do it really quick. I go, it was here, they did this, this blah, 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 done. The debate is should you keep paying your mortgage? Should you try and save the house should you should you negotiate with the government should you because a lot of people have gone through this and they found out man maybe it wasn't a good idea no and then when this all falls apart within months not years as we start to descend into you know i'm not I'm, I'm surviving and uh, you right. know and maybe you're not when that happens how should we address this what should we do you know i, I don't know i mean what do you think is going to happen I think it's going to be real iffy as to who's going to own your house. I mean, you may think that you're safe in your house, you know, in your domain, and you may find out that you are not secure, that somebody could come up and, you know, basically say, we own the note on your house and we're evicting you. I mean, the whole thing with the HAMP uh, system that Obama set up, they told people to stop paying while they were getting their mortgage adjusted. And then they came back and handed them a list of fees, and then they foreclosed on them. It was a scam. 
Wow. I, you know, you can see we're going to be, you know, watch Freedoms Phoenix. Freedomsphoenix.com. You'll see editor Jack Gregson. Man, he's always keeping us up to speed on what's going on with the economy. Who's doing what? What's happened to this foreclosure gate? He titles him foreclosure gate. It's just, you know, he's been walking it through. If it wasn't for Jack, we wouldn't know Jack. <laughs> about the foreclosure game. Jack, thanks for coming in, man. And it's we my got pleasure, you, Ernie. We got you guys kind of updated what's going on. And when we come back, we have Scott Horton, WikiLeaks. Are we going to war with China, Iran, and whoever else they can get to war with? I don't know. We're going to find out when we come back. Antiwar.com forward slash radio. Scott Horton. We'll be right back. <laughs> 